Welcome to My Logo Goes to the Gym. Today is a very special episode. I am now officially sub 300. For those of you that have been following me for a while, you know that it's been kind of a struggle the last six months, and I can now proudly say I have finally gotten to my goal, which was, I set this goal actually last fall, but you know, stuff happens, life happens, and so now I'm finally here, and I wanted to talk about what it's like being sub 300, and I wanted to do it a little bit different, and yeah, you're in for a surprise. So, there have been lots of guys who have been taking their shirts off and talking about their bodies, and for the most part, you know, they're not happy with their bodies and what weight loss is physically done to, you know, their body and their skin. I'm not knocking them, so please, you know, you guys don't take it that way. I have a different perspective. I mean, to be bold, you know, I love my body. I love the way things are coming out. So let's go ahead and talk about what's going on, what you guys see, and I'm going to tell you what I originally thought my body would look like once I finally got to sub 300. So first we're going to start with chest. So I'll be honest with you guys, this is my biggest, biggest, biggest insecurity like on earth. Um, when I first started training, I wore an oversized jacket because I was embarrassed, you know, I mean, no guy wants this. What's changed since I've been, since, you know, I finally have gotten to sub 300 is that they've actually gotten a lot, a lot smaller. And I never, ever thought that that was going to happen. So I'm actually pretty thrilled. I mean, I know the skin is going to get looser, but you know, we'll talk about that later. So just so you guys can see what this is like. I mean, this is all that's really left of them, which is pretty crazy for me, you know, because they were much bigger and I used to be just mortified, like totally embarrassed. Okay, next is shoulders. Right, so here we go with my shoulders. I've always had big, round, fat shoulders. Uh, I'm really shocked that I have some definition going on. I mean, again, I didn't think that was going to happen when I was 400 pounds, thinking, you know, thinking forward to being sub 300. I never thought my shoulders would look like this, as well as my traps. I genuinely, I didn't even know what traps were when I first started. My trainer had, my first trainer had to tell me that I had traps and I had to kind of look it up because I didn't know what he was talking about. So good to know. I've got some shoulders. Um, hopefully I get a nice shoulder cap going on in the next year or so. We'll have to see. I'm happy with my traps. They're just going, they're just going to keep getting bigger, I'm assuming. So, I mean, that's fine too. As long as my neck doesn't turn into a tree trunk, I'm fine. Okay, so next we have, what do we have? Okay, let's talk about my stomach, all right? My stomach, I used to have a belly. Well, not I used to, I still do. But my stomach used to hang over a lot. Mostly because I never wore, uh, well not mostly, but partially because I never wore my pants above my waist. I always had my pants right below my waist, which meant as I gained weight, my stomach began to hang over a lot more. So, as I've been losing weight, the skin has been, uh, well obviously it's becoming more trim, but uh, the skin is getting looser. Um, I'm not too worried about it. Oh, this is a, a, a my appendix rupture and I had to have major surgery. So I have this little section right here, but whatever, what are you going to do? So yes, the skin is getting looser and I know over time it's going to get much looser. And like I said earlier, you know, we'll talk about that in the end. But right now I'm not worried. I am fucking ecstatic with this. I'm so happy. And this is all going down. I'm pretty, pretty stoked for all this. Okay, next is my back. Let me just adjust. Oh dear. Let me just adjust my underwear so I don't show you guys any butt crack. Okay, so I'm going to turn around so you guys can see what my back looks like. So this is my back. I've always had a lot of, you know, fat build up here and right along the sides right here, love handles, I don't know, whatever you want to call them. I was always embarrassed of my back. Now, as it's getting slimmer, I'm actually pretty happy. You know, sometimes I'll 
check it out in the mirror just to see, you know, what's going on. And so far, so good. So, we'll see how the rest of everything else turns out. Okay, next, we're going to talk about my legs. So, hold on, let me cover myself here for a second. Okay, so these are my legs. I mean, you know, the skin is just going to get loose right here. That's completely expected. I'm not, you know, I'm not ashamed of it. Whatever, you know. This is what I'm surprised of. I actually have a lot more muscle definition than I ever thought possible. I never thought I was going to have muscle, especially quads, uh, like my trainer, because my trainer has really big quads, and I thought I would have nothing. But uh, as you guys can see, going down my leg, definitely getting some definition there. So that's actually really cool. Um, again, I know the skin is going to get loose, but... Uh, We'll cross that bridge when we have to. Okay, so what does the future hold? How do I feel about my body as, in terms of what it's going to look like in the future? Let's say another year from now when I'm actually down to about 190, 180. I'm not sure, but you know what? I'm not worried about it. I'm really not worried about it. I know the skin is going to get looser, which I keep saying, and I know it's going to happen and, you know, if I have to have surgery, if it's something I really do have to consider once I get there, then I'll consider it then. Right now, it's not a major concern. Um, you know, I, I don't stress out over it. I don't get sad about it. I'm not depressed. I'm not embarrassed. I mean, I'm, I'm not going to go out, you know, to the beach in a tank top with, like, my body hanging out, of course. But that doesn't mean that I'm embarrassed of my body. It's just something I don't want to do. I mean, I've never done that to begin with, so why would I do that now? Um, so yeah, we'll see what the future has for me. I'm pretty excited to see what's going to be coming next and see what other major transformations will happen to my body. All right, you guys, that's it. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, thanks for subscribing. Thank you to all my, fo my followers, all the people that have been following my weight loss journey. I really appreciate your support and I, I can't even describe how it makes me feel to know that you guys have been you know, backing me up this whole time. It means a great deal to me. All right, that's it. Thanks so much for watching. Talk to you guys later.